It is repetition which makes for perfection. Spacing is important when you're um, when you're doing layouts. There's certain rules that 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 are taught. I'm not too worried about that because um, I, I I I don't I don't like to follow rules. I just kind of go off of off of a feeling. So um, the rules might be in the back of my head, but it probably pay. It, you know, it it's about two percent of whatever whatever I'm doing. Um, so I just try to keep certain standards within there. Meaning, as long as there's a flow. Okay, let's say you have a page. Okay, one of the first things I worry about is flow. I worry about you know things going in a circular pattern another thing you can try to uh, get in there is an S pattern and that S can contract or shift move move around the same thing with a circular actually all, all of them they can actually move um, <clears throat> from a va vanishing point out, that's another one. Um, another one I kind of worry about is trying to keep things going sort of par in parallel to each other, like that. Um, and you can also crisscross going in this direction also like that so to me as long as you kind of fit within these areas and you can mix and match too um so when i'm drawing i don't think of these things but to me um if i if, so if i'm going to teach it i'm gonna have to sh demonstrate the basics of it to kind of show you okay this is how things would flow but when I'm literally drawing, I don't think about this stuff. I just go and it just comes out. Um, I'm assuming that's because of uh, years and years of doing this. I don't have to think about it anymore. I just, it's, this is already like a blueprint in the back of my head on, on shelf 337. And I don't really have to think about it. Um, so let's say you're doing... Um, So I, I have to, I notice you know, we're working on negative space, but I want to show the flow first before we actually get get into that. <laughs> so let's say, um, you know, the, uh, like I was saying, you, you can have a combination of, of these with whatever, whatever you're going to do. So you can combine these. Okay. So let's say we're going to pick like a circular pattern and, you know, the vanishing point right so you can easily have um, the character's head which is going to be the target you're trying to draw everyone's attention to it so you're going to have different elements within this this shot shooting in this direction to help draw your eyes and your attention towards this object which it, it could be someone's head it could be a sword it could be a, uh, a car tire on fire whatever it is that you, you're trying to draw someone's attention to you want to add elements in there that's going to draw the energy towards that object okay and to help tie it all in you would move in a circle so let's say it is like superman flying oh, sorry about it. you guys didn't see that so i was talking about this object in the middle and different elements pointing towards this object now these elements could be anything it could be debris just kind of floating around it could be um you know a weapon coming in like a sword or something it could be you know some gi gigantic gun that's coming in here and it's like it's getting ready to shoot him in the face um it could be the corner of a table something like that um just to kind of get it in there um it could be 
whatever maybe it's uh other parts it could be another character too like say it's a a, a someone's coming someone's com coming in it could be a hand like say someone there's a fist or something that's uh coming in in to punch him in the face you know so he's like i'm about to get punched in the face or it could be uh like i say it could be an another char char character so let's say another character's back here and his hands is kind of pointing in that direction his, his body's back here his legs and his hand is kind of pointing in that direction it helps to sell this face that you're or this object in the middle that you're that you're trying to draw attention to and that object could you can you can lower it you can lower it a little bit you can move it up a little bit higher you can move it left right that's fine you can put two of them in there two three of them in there you know that's fine um now that's we're, we're gonna like i said we're gonna combine like the circular pattern in there so now we have the circular pattern so let's say it was his arm his arm would come out and come back into this direction let's say it was uh he's he has this angry look on his face and he's coming towards the camera and he's running and he's like ah he's like you know you stole my two dollars give it back to me he wants my he wants his two dollars back because everyone stole it you know took his two dollars from him so he's coming back for his money so now you have this pattern here to help bring it all together to help you know tighten things up around his head you can actually um move his hands somewhere up in this this region to help sell to help frame his head a little bit um you can put elements in the background whatever's in the background back here to help sell and sell it so you want to put some like a, a doorway or something or uh, uh you know help sell it with a with the floor with a pattern on the ground um see how everything's kind of pointing towards him so that's what you want to do when, when you're doing this now in the process of doing this you want to think about these open areas i'm going to do it in red so in the process of doing that you want to think about see these areas here these areas here that's basically would classify as like the negative space but since i've filled it up in there there is a, there there isn't really any negative space because everything's pretty much ba balanced out if there wasn't these elements in there then you would have that then it would you would fall into something that's okay this is a little bit negative space. you can eat you but you can make it work for you too let's say um it's a character um and, and his head is over here okay he has his head over here in this corner um and you're trying to sell idea you know if you break it up break up this page this page is kind of it's broken up into fours right here right? and you have his head over here in the bottom corner but you're trying to sell idea like uh this is a lot of white space back here which that is the negative space okay so you have all this like open area over here um and you're trying to let's say it's a character he's following a trail of blood okay this is his head right here his nose blah 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 and there's like a pool of blood that's like going off into nothing okay that can be like a cool little shot for like a page you have this open area that's fine because the tech the the, the, the cover is good the, the title is going to fill up this one little area right here you know it can help to sell that but i would probably add something else back here to kind of help tie it in a little bit you know okay because if you have if you're starting here the character's already looking in this direction okay he's looking in this direction so and here comes the bloodstream moving in that direction so there needs to be something over here to help sell sell the idea like okay everything's coming back to to the head over here so now i just create a circular pattern here within this one this one little object right here so you keep this is a, this is an example of how you would make that the negative space work for you 
Uh, a bad one would probably be, um, let's see, let's, let's try to come up with a bad one. 